An antique store in Yorkshire, England, is plagued by what seems to be an angry poltergeist. It appears as a mist and smashes and throws things from the shelves of the shop. Something weird and unnatural is going on here. The owner, Daniel Parker, investigates the history of his street and discovers bizarre activity hasn't just struck in his store. There used to be a cafe just across the road, and they got someone in because they had weird things happening. And I think they got some sort of spiritualist group in to sort of rid their shop of spirits because things were moving in their shop. Material scientist Doug Holmes believes this discovery suggests the footage from Parker's store doesn't show a ghost, but a vibration from below that affects the whole neighborhood. You see this all the time in footage of an earthquake, in which you have these grumbling vibrations, which cause all sorts of things to, to fall down, topple over, and break. Um, and so a natural question is, well, what's the source of these vibrations? Barnsley is a long way from an earthquake zone. But in the 19th century, this sleepy town was the center of a revolution. Newly invented trains and mechanical factories needed coal to power them, and Barnsley had huge amounts beneath it. Historian Craig Gottlieb discovers this boom time for Barnsley came at a heavy cost. The history of coal mining goes back centuries in this area, and there have been many accidents and tragedies involved in the industry. The antique store is close to the Oaks Colliery, a mine a thousand feet deep. Mining of this sort can be very dangerous because it releases a number of flammable gases. In 1866, a massive explosion tore through the mine, killing 361 miners, some as young as 10 years old, and the rescuers who went in to save them. The devastating series of blasts caused by a mixture of gases, including methane, known as fire damp, destroyed the mine. It was England's greatest mining disaster. The Oaks Colliery shaft is now abandoned and sealed. Some locals even say it carries a curse. Geophysicist Cyan Proctor suspects the explosive power of the fire damp in the mine below has not been totally spent. We need to consider whether these small little explosions that are being caused by fire damp are actually the cause of what we see in this antique shop. 